track, you have a nice new large model here at uh, SNA 2020. Can you first please tell us about the status of the program today? So we're, we're very excited to be at the show and, and to have a model now that we have a firmed up design. Uh, we put our proposals in over the summer. Uh, in August was the technical and then September the cost. Just before the holidays, the, the Navy opened discussions with us and uh, gave us a bunch of questions and homework assignments to do that we got in right after the new year. So we're anxiously awaiting to see if we're going to get any more questions or if they're going to ask us to, to put our best and final in. Now that we have uh, that nice model in front of us, can you please uh, guide us through some of the specification and uh, weapon systems on board your design? Absolutely. So, as you know, we started with the Italian Frem design. Very similar in terms of missions uh, and capabilities, but these are all U.S. systems, which are government furnished. So starting at the bow, the 76 millimeter was replaced with a 57 millimeter standard gun that, that the U.S. Navy uses, 32 VLS cells. Really what changed the top side most was the Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar, solid state radar that the United States Navy has. Uh, and those are three faces, two look aft, one looks forward, and then with all of the communications equipment that the Navy gave us, uh, you'll see that it's a mass that's fairly similar to a DDG-51 because this has a, pretty much the same suite. And essentially, th this, this has all the capability of a DDG-51 Flight 2A, just not the capacity in terms of all the VLS. So then marching aft, we, we have the NOLCA decoys. We have the Naval Strike Missiles uh, in between, pretty much in the same places that, that FREM had hers. And then moving aft, you can see that we have a ram launcher, which is self-defense, and then a rather large flight deck, about the same size as you see on LCS, and a helicopter hangar that can accommodate uh, up to two SH-60s or an SH-60 and some, some of the unmanned helicopters that we have today. Now behind you, you have a nice large uh, poster showing a different configuration, and the things that strikes me really are the 16 uh, NSM anti-ship missile. Uh, why are you showing this? Uh, yes, yeah, so we actually have 16 on the ship. When we were doing the model, uh, we didn't want to give away to our competition that, that we actually had the objective number of, of missiles. This was actually captured from the 3D model of the ship, and so it's actual representative of, of exactly what we have and what we're proposing to the Navy. Um, one of the other kind of unique things about our design is the hybrid electric uh, propulsion system that we have. So we, we can cruise at 16 knots on, on our diesel electric with just the motors. Uh, that gets us an incredible amount of fuel efficiency so that the ship can do the full 6,000 miles that the Navy's looking for. So she can do a lot of independent ops, not have to have a lot of support with her. And with the combat capability she has, she, does, she doesn't have, have to be afraid of anybody. She can operate independently. Uh, the other thing that that hybrid electric drive does for us is it's very quiet. She is primarily an anti-submarine warfare ship, and that allows her to be much more effective in her mission is because of the quietness of the, of the plant. With the hybrid electric um, plant and also the Navy requirements for service life growth uh, to be able to accommodate new systems, she actually has the same electrical generating capacity as a DDG-51 Flight 3. She has four 3 megawatt diesel generators for a total of 12 megawatts. And we actually have space inside the ship to upgrade those 3 megawatt generators up to four so we could easily go up to 16 megawatts in the ship.